In today's HealthCast, details on a relatively new way to approach heart rhythm disorders in those who are critically ill. Dr. Mario Pasquale, who is with the Miami Cardiac and Vascular Institute at Baptist Health, has teamed up with the hospital's cancer specialist to perform a new procedure. It's called stereotactic radio surgery. It can actually correct potentially fatal heart rhythms without invasive surgery. Within the heart, you can have areas that will conduct electricity, but conduct electricity in a very abnormal fashion. So electricity, just like turning on a light, should work in a very efficient fashion. If you start having areas within the heart where electricity doesn't conduct very well, it can promote these arrhythmias. And so what the radiation is doing is actually targeting those abnormal heart tissues to not allow it to conduct electricity and not allow it to start that arrhythmia. So a 76-year-old man who was experiencing repeated episodes of ventricular tachycardia, also known as VT, is among the latest to successfully undergo that procedure. That is great. And the procedure done by a multidisciplinary team requires no anesthesia and no hospitalization either. Also good news. And research shows that the health of a woman's heart during pregnancy can play a major role in whether her child will develop cardiovascular disease later on in life. This study was done at Northwestern University School of Medicine in Chicago and it showed that better maternal heart health at 24 to 32 weeks of gestation was associated with better heart health in offspring at the ages of 10 and 14. And data indicates that more than 90% of pregnant women in the U.S. have below optimal cardiovascular health.